Ok, so let's start with adding the passenger to the list. First, we validate the input. We already have a method in the passenger class that does that. So we can use it and validate the input using that method and we will display an error message if needed. So let's look at the passenger object here. And here is the isValidate is valid passenger method that we are going to use. So to validate the input, we will simply call that method and ask if not the is valid passenger if it returns false and we need to pass the arguments for the name, row and column. So that's gonna be the values from the text boxes. So txt name dot text txt um, sorry it's empty b sit row dot text and mtb column seat column dot text so these are the values that we are verifying and if they don't pass the verification or the validation then we will display a message box with an error message so we can display a message box dot show and the message will be from the error message from the passenger class and remember the error message is static so we can call it directly so we will type passenger dot and you can see that we have the error message available so we will display that in the message box the title of the message box will be invalid input and all we need is the ok button because there is nothing else to confirm so buttons that OK and the icon can be error. So it's going to be message box icon dot error. And here after we display the message box, we don't do anything else. The input is invalid. So we return from this method. So we'll simply do return statement. OK, so if the input is valid, we create new passenger object with the seating information. So here we will create a passenger and it will equal new passenger with the information that we passed and validated. So we can copy it and paste it here into the constructor for the passenger. Next we are checking if the plane is full. Now how do we know if it is full? Remember, we have a method in the passenger object that returns the number of seated passengers. So let me just show you. Down here, we have number of seated passengers. And we know that the plane has a capacity of 40 passengers. So if there are 40 seated passengers, the plane is full. So we can do an if statement for that and check if and call the number of seated passengers method. So passenger dot number of seated passengers. And if that, this method returns 40, which is the number of passengers available for the plane, then the plane is full and we can display a message box. However, if the plane is full, we also want to ask the user if the passenger should be placed on a waiting list. So we will capture the user input yes or no into a variable. So our variable, I'll call it msg for message equals and I will display a message box. So message box dot show. And we can simply inform the user the plane is full. And ask the user if he wants to play and ask the user if the passenger should be placed on a waiting list. So place passenger on the waiting list question mark and the title of the message box can be seat or plain full and we need two buttons yes or no that the user clicks whether to add the passenger to the list or not so message box buttons that yes no and we will simply use the icon for the information so now we simply capture the user selection and if the cl user clicked no, we don't do anything. But if the user clicked yes, meaning 
to add the passenger to the waiting list, we will do just that. So we will do an if statement and see if the message equals and to check if the user clicked yes, we will do the dialog result dot yes property. If that one is true, then the passenger is to be added to the list. So we will simply add the passenger to the list using the add passenger method from our passengers class. So passenger class is here and here is our add passenger method that takes the passenger object. So if the user wants to add the passenger, we can add it directly. So we will call the passenger dot add passenger and pass the new passenger object. And in the constructor, we will simply add only the name because remember we are adding the passenger to the waiting list. So no seat is available. So we will add the passenger dot name property only. So no seating information. However, since we are adding the passenger to the waiting list, if you remember, we have a constructor that does that and it accepts the name and a boolean to be added to the waiting list. So we will simply say yes, add it to the waiting list. So we will pass true as the boolean. And once the passenger is added to the waiting list, we don't want to do anything else. So at the end, we will simply return. So this is if the plane is full. Next, we have to see if the seat is actually taken, because even if the plane is not full, the user might try to assign a seat that already belongs to a different passenger. So we need to verify that. So again, we have a method in the passenger object that does that. And if you go to the passenger object or class, you can see that there is a Boolean method is seat taken that takes the seat row and seat column as arguments. So we'll do an if statement and we will check if the passenger dot is seat taken method and we need to pass the seat row and the column. So we so we will pass the passenger dot seat row and passenger dot seat column as arguments. But this one is complaining because it cannot com convert integer to string. Remember, seat row is a property that is of type integer, but we are passing it as a string. So we need to convert it to a string. So at the end, I will do to string conversion. And this method returns true or false depending whether the seed is taken or not. So we can simply display a message box and I'm just gonna copy this and adjust it as needed. So this is not about the plane is full, but this is that the seed is taken, seed is taken. And we will inform the user to select a different seed. Please select different seed and the title of the message box would be seed taken and there's only one button we need and that is okay because the user cannot do anything other than simply assign a different seed. So at the end we will return because we need the user to go back and fix the input and change the seed to a seed that is actually available. And finally, if everything checks out, we can add the passenger to the list using the add passenger method in the passenger class. We use passenger dot add passenger. And we are adding the passenger object that we just created with the name seed row and seed column. And once the passenger is added, we need to update the seating chart. So we call the populate airplane method populate airplane and that will display new updated seating chart. All right, so this is our add passenger method. And next let's do the show all passengers click event.